It's unjust, it's unfair, and I demand restitution. Well, Mrs. Jensen, I can't be giving you your money back every time you rent a bad movie. Do you have any idea how many bad movies are out there? Well, this store has certainly gone downhill. You're aware that we don't actually produce the movies, right? Your father always kept the customer in mind. Whatever happened to customer service? Have you ever personally heard the phrase, the customer is always right? This place is just going to hell in a handbasket. Is this my happy place? Yes, I'm the angel of good times and no hassles. And I'm the angel of readily available food and refreshment. Ooh, what have I done to deserve this? <laughs> Don't talk silly. Your pudding bath is ready. <laughs> with him, the customer was always number one. Oscar always treated people with great respect. Hey, jackass, stop talking with this old wingnut and pump my gas. Well, he's a people person. You can tell me that your dog ran away. Then tell me that it took three days. I've heard every joke. I've heard everyone you say. You think there's not a lot going on? Look closer, baby, you're so old. And that's why you can stay so long. When there's not a lot. Mind if I put this up in your window? Talent show, what's that about? Well, how can I describe it? It's a thing where uh, people show their, uh, what do you call, talent. I have a handle on the concept, you goof. Yeah, I'll put this up. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Done. You can be the judge. Oh, no, I don't think I could do that. I'm not decisive enough. Sure you are. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, maybe I am. I'll do it. I, I think. <laughs> Now I just need to finish the set design. I'm thinking something shiny. Bright colors, red, green, flashing lights. So old Christmas decorations. Yeah. Fine. Well, you deck the halls, but I'm not donning any gay apparel. OK. Hey, could I get the bill if you're not uh, mentally exhausted from wrestling with the TV Times crossword puzzle? I love this. It makes me feel brilliant. Blank dream of genie. One letter. Wish me luck. Ah, dream of genie. You dream of genie. Hello, Dog River. I'm back. <laughs> Who's that? Hi, everybody. I'm a big, loud mouth jerk. That's my cousin Carl. I'm going out to get plant food, Oscar. Do you need anything? What are you getting plant food for? Because my tomatoes are pathetic and wrinkly. And when things are pathetic and wrinkly, they need food. Eat your sandwich. What do you got to waste money on a whole new box for? We got plant food in the basement. I'll get it for you. You can't find anything down there. Just watch me. There. Told you. What's that? Empties. Where's my plant food? You need plant food, go buy some. I'm going to take these back, get my deposit. Well, could you pick me up some plant food? Anyway, I'm loving England. You'll never guess who I met last week. King Arthur. Pitt the Elder. Sting. Sting. He was in my laundry room at the condo I live in. Huh? Sting, he does his own laundry. See, Carl's lucky enough to get to rub shoulders with the rich and famous, but we're the real lucky ones because we get to hear about it. I'm sorry, I must have left my manners on British Airways. I'm Carl Vaughn. Lacey Burroughs. So what brings you back to Dog River? British Airways, apparently. Oh, I'm heading to Vancouver. My company opened up a new branch office, so I'm sort of out on a scouting mission. Good for them. But it's no big deal. No good they sent you away. Hank! Hey! Come here, you daffy mo. <laughs> Brand, what's with all the insults? What do you mean? Well, every time the guy opens his mouth, you shut him down. You put the word jerk back into the phrase being a jerk to Brent's cousin Carl. I don't know. He just he's one of those guys pushes my buttons. I'm walking around in that suit like he's... Who's that guy in the suit? Man from Glad? Sure. He just he grinds my gears is all. Well, try and be civil. I haven't had a fist fight in here for three days. You're right. I'll try. 
Watch me be nice. Hey, come on. Here you go. Carl. Ooh. Hey, Carl, you, uh, I'm gonna do my magic act in the talent show. Are you gonna stick around for that? Yeah, please stay, Carl, if you can tear yourself away from Sting. Not that Sting's gonna be at the talent show. It's good to see you, Carl. Nice niceness. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. All right. Anyway, take a look at this. Huh? Ooh, hey, snazzy watch. <laughs> you, you want me to get that fixed for you or something? Nah, it's yours, pal. Oh, thanks. Good boy. Now you're my best friend. Kiss me. That's a nice gift, hey, Brent? Oh, wow, a trinket. A quality trinket. What? It's nice. Excuse me, I have gas. Stuff. Look here, buddy. Hey? Tells the time anywhere out in the world. Anywhere, hey? You want to know the time in England? It's, uh, seven hours ahead, so you... Look at that, it's 10 o'clock in England. Oh. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah. Hey, round of coffee's on me. Huh? I'll see you later. Yeah, see ya. Hey, wait a minute, you can turn any watch ahead seven hours. What's up, Brent? Hey? You took off like a scalded cat. Nice image. Still working for the old man, huh? No, as a matter of fact, I own the place now. Well, yay. Look, Brent, I, I know I haven't kept in touch like I used to. Well, don't sweat it, all right? Things change. This is Dog River. Things stay the same. Hey, the peanuts in the vending machine have been around since well, I was in high school. Look, Brent, I can't help but feel that there's some jealousy here, you know? That you know, somehow my success has, well, made you feel emasculated. That's not it at all. Emasculated means... Like you're not a man. That's not it at all. Look, the feelings you're having, they're, they're normal. You know, a young one said that we all had a nemesis. You know, an opposite number. A surrogate. Well, we somehow project ourselves. Angels? Hello? Hey, how are the chili dogs coming? Sorry, buddy. We finished him off. <laughs> we like him because he knows what emasculated means. Oh, Carl, that suit makes you look as sexy as the man from Glad. <laughs> Let's laugh at Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, Brent. Hey, pay attention, huh? Don't make fun of my peanuts. Brent, do you have any plant food? Carl! Aunt Emma, I heard you were in town. Give us a hug. You here long? I think I'm leaving sooner than I thought. Nonsense. You're coming for dinner. Roast pork, mashed potatoes. Brent, you be there too. And ask Lacey to join us. And don't forget the plant food. Look, you think we can have one pleasant meal with your mom without you getting all weird and defensive? I'm not weird and defensive. All right, see you at five. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, Oscar, what can I do you for? Liquor or insurance? Neither. I'm dropping off. What's this? A birthday cake. What's it look like? It's a case of empties. Buck 20. Stubby Heidelbergs? Stubby who? I can't take these back, Oscar. They don't even use these anymore. I bought them here. I'll return them here. They don't use them anymore. They're no good to me. Well, maybe my business is no good to you. Ever think of that? Maybe you could sell them on eBay. They're not going to take them at the bay. Sorry, Oscar. There's nothing I can do. Listen here, Wes. If you want to ruin a 20-year business relationship, that's your business. My business is to... Your business... My business is your business! I'll never set foot in this dive again! But what if you need insurance? Guy says I'm not a man. I'm not emasculated. I just don't like Carl. Why on earth not? I don't know. I just don't like the guy. There's no reason. It's just like everything he does drives me crazy, okay? Do I have to be friends with everybody? Well, Carl Jung says we all have a shadow figure, a, a kind of nemesis. In fact, I actually found mine. What'd you do? I married him. 
Carl. He tries to be all folksy and then talks about flying on British Airways. Real folksy, your highness. It's just an airline, Brent. Although one you could never afford to fly on. I'm emasculated. I'm not emasculated. He's emasculated. Big, soft city wimp now. I'm more of a man than he is. Here's your tapioca. How's your headache? It's real bad. Come on, be in the talent show. I'll be the ventriloquist, and you can be my puppet. It'll be fun. I don't know why you don't want to do this. Because it's not dignified. Police officers need to be respected by the community. <laughs> Who told you that? Hey! Got your gun? I think so. Good. I need you to arrest somebody. What happened? Wes Humboldt down in the liquor store won't give me a buck twenty for a twelve pack of empties. Says they're no good just because they're old. Really nice way to treat a senior. Oscar, we can't arrest him for that. You can't or you won't. Bottles are bottles. I bought those bottles in good faith. I bring them in, just want a buck twenty. Wes won't take them. I'm a senior. Oh, hey. I was just talking to Wes, and uh, he asked me to uh, give you this money. And he said he was sorry. It'll take more than this to get back my business. A formal apology is in order. Nice police work. Will you be my puppet in the talent show? No. Fine. I'll get a sock. <sighs> Those potatoes were dynamite, Aunt Emma. <laughs> Just like I remember. What, they don't have potatoes in England? <clears throat> What are those, Emma? Some pictures? Yeah. Brent and Carl when they were in school. Oh, Ma, don't. That's humiliating. I got feathered hair. I look like a fat Sean Cassidy. Oh, my God. What, were you guys on the gong show or something? No, that's uh, Shackle and uh, Jackal, our comedy routine. Remember that, Brent? You two were so funny doing that. As a matter of fact... No, Ma, we don't want to do the act right now. Well, I wasn't going to say that. I think the two of you should do it at the talent show on Saturday night. Yeah. Ah. Well, that's much worse. Oh, don't be such a baby. What are you, emasculated? I'm not. I just, uh, it wouldn't be fair to the other performers, is all. It wouldn't be fair. Well, I'm game. Oh, come on, Brent. Stop being such a no fun Freddy. Fine, then. We'll do the act. <laughs> yeah. Good. No fun Freddy? Here it is. The maiden batch of Oscar Brow. <laughs> this is a Pilsner. I followed the instructions. And let it sit all afternoon. You know, I left Toronto to get away from the pollution. Jeez, Dad, did you mix this in a skidoo boot or a crow's nest? Yes, sissy. It's like a Belgian beer. Not the Belgium I've been to. I suppose you've been to the good Belgium. Brent. Yeah, you know what? I can't. I'm driving. Honest to God, Dad, it tastes like you beat a skunk to death with a salmon. I know it's a little different, but I got no choice. Wes won't give me my deposit. Two stuffy bottles are bottles. I only want a buck twenty. I'm a senior. That reminds me, Dad. Uh, I was talking to Wes earlier, and uh, he's changed his mind. What? He wants bygones to be bygones. Okay. There you go, Oscar. You got your way. Now you can dump that swell. I got my pride. Until I get a formal apology, the Oscar Brow factory is in full operation. So, bottoms up. Well, what do you think? Bottoms up. Oh. Ah. Oh, did you have to use the scary Santa? That thing gives me the heebie jojibies. What? It's festive. Yeah, the same way human sacrifice is considered festive in some cultures. Hey, well, what's going on? This doesn't look like pottery class. What do you mean? It's talent show. Talent show? But it's, that, that's not till the 12th. Oh, yeah. And today's only the 12th. No, no, the watch that Carl gave me. It, it says it's the 11th. Huh? Hmm. Well, maybe it's the 11th in England. I say to Wes, bottles are bottles. What kind of a place are you running? I'm a senior. That reminds me. Wes wanted me to give you the buck 20. Says he wants to forget about the whole thing. Thank you. Hello and welcome, everyone, 
to the 17th Annual Dog River Talent Show. <laughs> Brought to you by Chuck Dragner's pre-owned farm equipment. Stand up, Chuck. If you can't trust the Chuck you're talking to, you're talking to the wrong guy named Chuck. Jeez, Chuck, you could have come up with a better slogan. Anyways, first up. Hey, Constable Blondie. What do you call a blonde police officer sitting in a Volkswagen? Oh, far from thinking. Far from thinking. Uh, how many blonde rookies does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know. I'm stupid. I think he's making fun of you. Could I get a type of animal, please? Any type of animal. Dog! All right, uh, dog. Voila! Hello, I'm Sergeant Davis. <laughs> I like to eat donuts. We're Shekel and Jekyll. I'm Murray Shekel. And I'm Dr. Jekyll. I'm a Catskills comedian. And I'm a brilliant scientist with an evil demon lurking within. All right, you name any element from the periodic table. Hmm, how about boron? Boron, 10.81. <laughs> no, no, Jekyll. You know how you get when you drink that stuff. Now it's time to go. We hope you like the show. If the London cops get me, I'll be put in death row. We're Shekel and Jekyll. And hide! Face like Emma. What's that? Oh, come on. You knew if you got these guys to do their act, they'd patch things up. That or they'd have duped it out. Either way, it would have been entertaining. <laughs> so he wouldn't give me the money for the empties. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the magical, mystical magic of the great Hank Olio. Thank you. Uh... Before I start, I just wanted to say that I got the day wrong, so I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, quite ready. But the show must go on. Uh, now, these rings are steel. Or, or chrome. Or, uh, you know, any kind of shiny metal. Uh, sir, can you verify that these rings are indeed unbreakable? If, if they were here. Hey, look, everybody, it's the great Describo. Now, there is nothing up my sleeves. You don't have any sleeves, Hank. Carl, give the guy a break. Come on, this guy's worse than Davis. I thought Davis was hilarious. Thanks, Emma. Not you, Davis, the puppet Davis. You kind of sucked. Ha! Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, it, it, it would have looked like uh, the, the rings were together. And, and then I, I pulled them apart, and, and it, it would have looked really, uh, really cool. Ta-da! Thank you. <laughs> and uh, now, uh, here to announce tonight's winner is our judge, Lacey Burroughs, everyone! Hi. <laughs> Well, it was really close. So hard for me to pick one winner. They were all so... Uh, well, let's just get right to it. The winner of the 17th Annual Dog River Talent Competition is... The Mystifying Hank Olio. Hank Yarbo, everybody. Hank! What do you mean, Hank? He didn't even have an act! I should have won! You yokels wouldn't know a good thing if you saw it! Oh, hick town That was uncalled for. Well, I don't know. Hank! What the hell are you talking about? I'm a big, loudmouth jerk. Brent's really funny. He should have won. He carried me. Brent's a great guy. He does make a point. I don't know how we all missed it, but Carly's kind of a dink. 
Well, I've always had a very sensitive dink meter. I wish I hadn't heard that. You wish. That was nice of you, Lacey, letting Hank win. Letting him win? Oh, no, I didn't let him win. Hank was legitimately the most entertaining act here. <laughs> you guys were lame. I had you behind the balloon guy. Well, that's it for tonight's show, everybody. But uh, before we go, if anybody has a dollar twenty for uh, Oscar to shut up about the bottle thing, he's in the corner. I'm a senior! What? What is this? The last action hero. How can you rent this when you don't even carry the first action hero? More dogs, boys? Yes, please. You? Mmm, don't mind if I do. Thank you. You know, Brent, I really thought you deserved to win that talent show. Oh, well, thanks for saying that, man from Glad. But it's better that Hank won. That suit makes you look really good, by the way. The suit doesn't make me look good. I make the suit look good. I don't know the same things you don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. web at cornergas.com I don't know I just don't know